Take a look at this. This is dash cam video of when a driver crashed head on into a Grand Rapids police cruiser. The officer was seriously hurt and now the driver is facing charges for driving while drunk. 13 on your side's Carla Byron in the newsroom with us tonight. And Carla, this is not the first time this man has driven under the influence. Kirk Elena, 39 year old Jack Case was previously convicted twice of driving while intoxicated. Tonight we learned through new court documents that because of this criminal history, he's now facing two felony counts of OWI. Do you understand the charge uh, and the maximum penalty associated with the charge? Yes, sir. 39 year old Jack Case is accused of driving southbound on Eastern Avenue Southeast, swerving into the northbound lane and striking GRPD officer Corey Borda's cruiser head on. This happened in early May. And that at the time, your blood alcohol content was 0 0.08 grams or more per 100 milliliters of blood. Police say Case's blood alcohol content level was 0.237, nearly three times the legal limit. Court documents state while another officer was trying to speak with Case, the officer noticed two pint-sized bottles of fireball whiskey on the passenger side floorboard. Two alcohol bottles were also found in the glove compartment. Witnesses told police on scene Case was driving recklessly, appeared intoxicated, and was driving on the wrong side of the road with no headlights. But this isn't Case's first OWI offense. You've been twice previously convicted of the offense of driving or operating while intoxicated. That would constitute a third offense. Case was convicted of OWI once back in 2006 and in 2011. If released on bond, he must submit to special conditions, including no alcohol or drugs. The defendant only be released on a scram alcohol monitoring tether device that must be worn at all times. Officer Borda suffered serious injuries and won't be back to work until the fall. Case's next court appearance will be a probable cause conference on June 13th. He pleads not guilty and has a cash surety bond of $3,000. Reporting in the newsroom, Carla Byron, 13 on your side.